Okay, the last film I'm reviewing this week is Joan Rivers, A Piece of Work, and boy is she ever. Joan Rivers is, of course, the uh, legendary motor mouth uh, talk show host who's had so many plastic surgeries that even Pamela Anderson would laugh at her. Uh, and this movie, for a documentary, is extremely funny, peering into the life of this character that you just cannot even describe. It's like you want to hate her, but you can't kind of thing. She's so annoying, but at the same time when she's on TV, doing her thing, you can't change the channel because you just wonder what is she going to do. Joan Rivers has had that appeal her whole career. Now she used to be uh, once the co-host of The Tonight Show um, and then until she just cut right off and now she's begun slipping down the pop culture chain but yet at the same time she finds ways to make herself ever present. She's a publicity hound and she does it so well in such a funny manner that I really just cannot help it. Now. Again, looking at her the way she is in this film, it's it's a little over the top, but that is part of its appeal. Now, sometimes films or documentaries about comedic subjects try to be a little too hard to be over the top in making its point, but really, with Joan Rivers, I can't expect anything less. If it was just a movie about her life and going all serious, I wouldn't enjoy it. When I see Joan Rivers, I want that outrageousness. I want to be hit in the face a million times with what she's saying. I just want to be like the, like Adam West does on The Family Guy Cutaways, like, <laughs> what? Like, seriously, that is how I want to be when I see Joan Rivers, because she's just constantly entertaining. Even when she's not funny, she's funny. I guess that's just the way it is. Not that said, however, I would never want to see her starring in any like major motion picture, <laughs> but uh, that might be a bit much. But for a documentary, this is the perfect uh, perfect concept. Now, this, this of course, um, it follows her in uh, different aspects of her life, but at the same time, it still keeps that whimsicalness of, um, of and the craziness and the zaniness that is Miss Joan Rivers. Now, this isn't a film for everybody, but anybody who's had appeal to Joan Rivers or who has an idea of who she is will enjoy this film. I, it was a lot of fun. I give it four stars out of five for Joan Rivers, a piece of work, and that is it for this week's edition of Bill Chase and the Movies. I will be back with reviews, uh, more reviews next week on um, next week's show. But however, I do want to say too that uh, you know, join my group, Bill Chase and the Movies, yeah, and um, I, ho I really hope that uh, you want to discuss films. When I will respond to your feedback, send me stuff here on YouTube. I lately, I lately have been behind, but uh, this week I'm going to try to catch up on some of your feedback and that. I got in a few, so um, yeah, if you have any questions about any movies, past or present, or even future stuff that's coming out, please discuss it with me. I want to hear about it. And that's it for this week, and until next week, I am Bill Chase, and I will be at the movies. Goodbye, everybody.